Good morning, everyone. Well, some of you are probably saying, well, why aren't you wearing red? And, you know, what's about Happy Valentine's Day? Well, you know, <laughs> yeah, okay, right, Happy Valentine's Day. But, in fact, the Church recognizes two other saints for today, and that are St. Cyril and St. Methodius, who are actually brothers. Um, and uh, during the 19th century, they uh, were uh, responsible, they took it upon themselves to do translations of the liturgical texts, and the texts of the Mass, and they did translations in that regard. Then coming back to St. Valentine, well, where does that all come from? I will start off with the reason I'm not wearing red is because <laughs> probably the only red stuff I have is Christmas things. That might be pretty much uh, inappropriate. Well, St. Valentine... Um, it's kind of a myth, I suppose, and I don't want to debunk the whole thing completely. But uh, Valentine is one of those guys who probably much like Mother's Day and, and Easter and Christmas and so forth has been heavily commercialized, um, uh, you know, obviously for, for the benefits uh, to, to, uh, to commerce. But uh, there were, there were um, people who, who were named St. Valentine, but uh, they weren't associated with love specifically, although there were some stories that went about them. Um, one of those is that um, there was an emperor at one stage who uh, took upon one of the early uh, Valentines, who was a priest. Um, uh, the, the, uh, the, the emperor had, was trying to get people to sign up for the army and so forth. And he felt that if people were married, they'd be distracted. And so therefore he banned marriages. And therefore Valentine was secretly going around the place and marrying people. Okay, there's a romantic uh, element. So that's a possibility. And when the emperor found out about it, he threw Valentine in the jail, and um, uh, he uh, um, was ultimately uh, executed. Um, but uh, as I said, there were, there were two other Valentines associated with, it, with that as well. The other story is that in the UK and France, allegedly around about the time of Valentine's Day, uh, that the birds begin to pair. They begin to find their, their soulmates and so forth. And so there's love and all the rest of it. So, you know, I don't want to sort of <laughs> do the whole Valentine's thing as people are going to say, bah, humbug. No, that's not what it's all about. I think we just uh, understand that uh, Valentine's Day is about an expression of love. And, of course, understanding that uh, within a religious context, there are four different um, uh, meanings of the word love. Uh, there's obviously eros, which is what we're looking at today. Um, that is uh, where the word erotic comes from. Sensual or romantic love. Secondly, you get storge which is the fa kind of family relationship of love. You get philia, which is brotherly love, or that love between um, neighbors and fellow members of a community. And then, of course, agape, which is our love for God and his love for us. So um, there's lots of love around the place. Share it today and have a wonderful and a beautiful day. God bless. Bye-bye.